I think I've found heaven in one of your barns. The, some of the beautiful pieces of machinery in here are just phenomenal. Some of your race cars from the day that I still remember and just watched in awe of racing, rallying around New Zealand. We're going to have a look at those in a minute. But uh, fire truck, not a lot of racing going on with this. Um, how did this come to be sitting here? So this is actually my wife Shelley's idea. Oh. You know, so she said if we're going to have a racetrack, we've got to have a fire truck. Oh, so right. um, she found this in Colorado, and it's a cool old diamond tea, and it works great, and uh, it's just part of the collection. Rod, this has got the great Dale Earnhardt's name on it. Um, is it original late model? It's not. It's it's the same as, and so it's called a tribute car. Yep. The same as what he sort of cut his teeth in in, the, in his early days. So it was owned by Ray Everham and... Um, Very another famous name. Yes, he bought it out here and, and competed in the um, event. In fact, his wife drove it here two years ago. So it was cool to have them out here and expose the Leadfoot Festival to them. Is that right? So they, yeah. they took this up the hill. It's, yeah, a, they did. it's a big old wide car, isn't it? It was, and, and you know, that, that's a unique thing about our event. You know, we want to attract all the different disciplines yeah. of motorsports and cars and drivers and all that. And um, it's not perfectly suited for our hill, but it's still a spectacle. This is something quite special. This has been around a long time, this truck. It has achieved yeah. and done so many cool things. Well, it started in um, late 98 when Toyota was introducing their full-size truck in the US market yep. um, with the V8 engine. The president of Toyota came to me and says, you know, we need to give this new truck credentials because we're going up against the Ford and Chevys and, you know, the, the Ford is the number one truck yep. selling vehicle in the US. He said, let's do a race program. But to cut a long story short, we built two trucks and on the second year, it won six of uh, 12 races. So um, we actually made it competitive, even though it's only got 625 horsepower against some of the others with 800 odd. Um, but our focus was all on the handling, suspension and, and the whole vehicle dynamics. And so fun to drive, easy to drive. It looks big, but when you get in behind it yeah. and, and you get on the gas and all that, it's actually very easy to drive. You she's, could drive it she's with one built, hand. She's built to fly, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was built to fly and land and all yeah. that kind of thing. I mean, race to the sky, you just yeah. tore this thing up the road up there. That wasn't really designed for that, was Not it? really, no, no, no. But it worked okay. Yeah, and, and it was just a, it was something I had in stock, you could say, that I could easily take down and do that yeah. event. It didn't need any maintenance other than, you know, just tires and a bit of fuel in it. Yeah. And it always just kept going. And know, now so. she's uh, now she's sitting with record, records here at the farm, eh? Now, some things that are even more special in some ways, way back when, in your rallying days yeah. here in New Zealand, these amazing Mazda RX-7s. So the first one on the list there, the Group B RX-7, what, I mean, just a spectacular looking, but um, the noise and everything from that car, just is synonymous with that Mazda brand was, was that yeah. car. Yeah. The fun, fun part of our journey with the boys and that, they've, they've followed and looked at my career and so Reese found this car in Belgium. It was the car I drove in the 85 RAC wow. and I also, I think I did the Scottish Rally as well. Yeah. One day he called me up and said, Dad, come on over to the shop. You know, his shop's only a quarter mile like, away from mine in Huntington Beach. And, and he had it there. And he had my old 85 RX-7 Group B car. Wow. That's very cool. Yeah, no, it's very cool. Now this RX-3, which is, again, it was a... Uh, a rebuilt car, it's not the original car, but it's, it is, and it is absolutely spectacular. What's the significance here? Well, my brother-in-law, Peter Davidson, um, you know, a, a well-known name in New Zealand motorsports, yep. he said, you know, we've got to put together an RX-3. And, and so I went looking and looking for my old RX-3s. I couldn't find them, I eventually did. It, they, they did get crashed, so there was, there was no way of, of, you know, restoring those cars. Mm. So he set about building up the RX-3. It started out, it was going to be exactly how I drove it, um, the specs and so on. And then, but, uh, <laughs> and then it you know, got carried guess, away. <laughs> we might have had a couple of beers one night and it got carried away. <laughs> so now it's it's much lighter, the engine's further back, it has a six-speed sequential transmission in it. Yeah. So we run it here at the Leadfoot Festival and I'll tell you what, I think this is my favourite car to drive. It is such a kick, it's lightweight, it's powerful, it's two-wheel drive, yeah. and you're busy inside. And, 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 and I just love that. This RX-7 here, this one, I mean, many, many rally enthusiasts here in New Zealand will remember seeing this car. And it's a little bit different because um, Mazda never made four-wheel drive versions of these, no, did they? No, well, so 
You know, in the um, 1980, um, I was driving for Mazda in, in the US and we won the championship in 81. And then in 82, um, along came the factory Audi Quattro and just kicked our butts. Yeah. So <laughs> Didn't um, it's sort of like I was in talking to the, the Mazda folks and said, well, maybe we should convert the RX-7 to four wheel drive. And they said, seriously? If you did that, we've got extra budget for that. So, oh wow. Mention extra, <laughs> yeah. mention extra budget. Not for long. Yeah. So, you know, I had to go home and, you know, figure out was that really feasible? Why did I say <laughs> something like that without even, you know, checking it whether it was possible? You know, this car is absolutely original. It's just how we raced it last time in 1985. 30 years ago. Yeah, we haven't I touched think, it. Yeah. And it still runs great. We've put some new synchros in the gearbox yeah. basically, and, and it's still the same. You know, a lot of people and through their lives and careers collect art and put it on the walls. This is it. I collect all my old yeah. race cars, you yeah. know, so um, anything that was significantly important, I've tried to hang on yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, no, it's very cool.